What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin and I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today we're talking about the best tape measures in 2020. So these tape measures come in all different shapes and sizes. Every store has different brands. We're going to go over my favorite tape measure and I think the last tape measure you'll ever buy. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's talk about some tape measures here. So uh, everybody has their difference in opinion and features and all of the cool stuff. And uh, I go first kind of cool and second kind of cool. First kind of cool is functionality. Does it actually do its job? And then the second kind of cool is some of the features like, uh, you know, the black tape measure and uh, stuff like having the... Uh, writing on both sides or the measurements on both sides uh, stuff like uh, you know a gritty end here a different shaped end you know your traditional your you know everybody's coming out with different things you can see I've worn out a bunch of tape measures in the past and the reason why I have three black widows is because they went on a promo at Lowe's and these things were like $3 a piece. So of course I was going to get as many as I could, which was three. So, uh, you know, they all have their own features. This has a nice over mold and a little lanyard loop, things like that. The thing I like uh, a lot about the Milwaukee is it has this little finger here uh, or this finger groove so you can slow down the tape measure as it's coming in and there's no pinch factor here So you can you know this huge tip on the end here uh, doesn't come smacking you in the in the uh, In the finger and hurt you. I mean this is a magnetic tip um, You know crap always gets on here uh, It's not a bad tape measure. It has a lot to be desired with some of the different features but it's certainly not my favorite. So let's get down to the real reason why we're here. So this Lufkin Shock Force is absolutely, by all means, the best tape measure I have ever used. Uh, this thing is rated for a 100 foot drop. If you're uh, really wanting to see a cool video, a cool uh, two minute video here in the card, uh, Acme Tools takes this thing and they drop it from 85 feet onto a concrete floor in a stadium. Um, and this thing takes the blow and just keeps on going. So there are two different versions of this tape measure. I always uh, opt for the black or the night eye, uh, the black tape with the neon lettering. Um, very cool, uh, very easy to see. Uh, nice markings at a foot and 16 on center. You know, come out here, see another 16 on center. Just an awesome tape measure all the way around. Um, the second kind of cool on this, it has the same, uh, the same, whatever you want to call it, as the uh, as the Black Widow, except for this one's diamond encrusted. Um, they've kind of bedazzled this thing so that it makes it gritty and it won't come off of stuff. I will admit building a deck railing with this tape measure was a pain in the butt because no matter what, this thing would just always slip off. So as you can see, the footprint's kind of small. Um, you know, it has all your traditional little um, uh, grooves for uh, hanging on nails and stuff like that, hanging on screws. Uh, whatever, but this thing's definitely second kind of cool. You get that bedazzled tip there um, and it looks awesome. But the ability for this thing to take a hundred foot drop and still keep on going is amazing. So another feature with this that I've used once, um, I'll probably only use it once. Um, this little lanyard, uh, the, the hole by the lanyard is for a pencil. So I've used this one time and like I said, It'll probably be the only time, of course, I didn't come prepared, but a, uh, a small mechanical pencil will go down in here. Um, and you can use this to scribe arches and circles. So you can basically drag this around to center point. And um, I did a uh, basically an arch with it. And, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, you're getting a, you could use a compass, uh, but if you're doing something large like um, let's say you're laying out a patio and you need a 12 foot 
uh, radius on a circle. You can have one person hold this around your center point and then you can mark it out. I mean, you know, how much will you use it? I, I've used it once. Uh, my arch was, I just needed to cut a two by four uh, with a little arch in it, jigsawed it out, but boom. So this tape measure is awesome. Uh, let's talk about the price. So we've talked about durability, just awesome. The first kind of cool, second kind of cool, um, all this bedazzled and all these features. Um, the price is really important. So you can go on, uh, let's see, an, a place like Acme Tools. You can get two of these bad boys for $30. Um, if you buy them separately, uh, if you buy just one, there's all kinds of different prices all over the board. So um, I'll put a couple links in the description below. You can uh, get uh, either version of this. I should mention, I'll roll in a picture of the other version. If you're looking at one with orange panels in here, uh, that is the one with the regular uh, yellow style tape. So it's going to look like this when you pull it out. Um, same tape measure, different color on the panel. That way you know that this is not the night eye. The night eye has the black and fluorescent tape. So I think this is the best. This works for me. I like it. Um, some people might not have that same opinion. That's all good and well, but I've been through a lot of tape measures and I've used a lot of them over the years. I've used and abused all these crappy cheap, uh, you know, everything from Cobalt to Stanley, Craftsman, uh, you know, all the way up to my favorite Lufkin here, uh, made by Crescent, the parent company, and it's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. I hope that I brought some good information to you. If you found value in this content, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Please click that subscribe button and stick around the channels. We're doing stuff like this all the time. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.